Hi there, welcome to this short video. Just wanted to share a little experience with you. So I did do a bit of exercise today, went on a walk, went across a field like I've seen in the past. It was sunny, it was hot. I detest the sun. I hate the heat, okay? But you know what else I can't stand for most part of it? Understand the key words I say. Our dogs and dog owners, arguably some of the most spasmodic, spasticity, spasticness humans out there. Okay, as I said, most, not all, understand the language. I'm not saying 100% of people are idiots. I'm saying a fair portion are, more so in the UK, at least from my experience. Simply out on a walk today, minding my own business. But of course, you've got the silly dog parade of spasmodic dog owners all over the bloody place. Simply want to walk, no because the dogs keep undercutting, overtaking you, constantly around you. You just want to simply walk in peace, but instead you got heavy panting of dogs all around you. That's what happens when you overtake a dog walker. You overtake them, the dog ends up following you and getting in your way. I can't stand that. But if you do walk a bit slower behind the dog owner, even if you walk really slow, for some reason, it seems to be programmed in the human to stop and start every damn time. So what happens is you walk slow, the dog owner in front ends up suddenly stopping for no real reason, unless they're getting the phone out to take a narcissistic selfie of themselves to upload on Instagram afterwards, wouldn't surprise me. You overtake them and then they catch back up with the dog panting, breathing behind you, undercutting, overtaking you. It's an endless cycle. You get what I'm saying? And because it was just a singular path going in a singular direction, there wasn't really much choice. So there was dogs in front, stopping, starting, overtaking, undercutting over and over again with me. And then behind me, there was another set of humans with a couple of dogs as well. So I'm kind of boxed in. Yeah, it was annoying. I even pulled over by the side, stood still. And you know what happened? Some dogs walked past. And then the people behind with their dogs decided to walk all the way up to me. And instead of overtaking, because I was letting them pass by, they decided to randomly stop right next to me with their dogs. And I'm like, the whole reason why I am moving to the side is to allow people to walk past, but they decide to stop at the same exact spot I stop at first. How pathetic and degenerative are humans? I'm closing my eyes right now because it's just trying to process the levels of idiocracy within human behavior, that idiosyncratic, bombastic, pathetic, degenerative, ignorant behavior. What is wrong with the UK human race? Abysmal, abysmal. What happened later, carried on walking, all the other dog owners, and doggers <laughs> ended up walking past and onwards, right? I decided to take a left, go down a pathway where no one or not many go down because it's so overgrown. More dogs nearby, more dog owners. <laughs> they went the other way, so I went down the overgrown way. And guess what happened then? I was going down the pathway, I looked back, and there's another dog owner with a dog coming on up where it's really overgrown. And it's like, I can't move to the side and have my own space and peace because someone's fucking breathing down the back of me. And I can't even go down a very narrow pathway which is really covered with vegetation and nettles without someone following me from behind. So I pull over to the side once again, they walk past. And then I'm like, oh, I give up at this point. I really do. Carry on walking and it gets a bit steeper, and it's very narrow, that narrow. I look behind, now there's another dog running up, and a jogger running up, heavy breathing. Just think of that during lockdown with the virus, heavy breathing and panting, spreading all kinds of germs, typical low standard hygiene type people there. So I pull aside again in a very narrow path, and they get past, and at that point I'm like, what next? Cyclist came across cyclists, dozens of them, 
what is going on? Considering it's an area, a place where it's normally quiet or quieter, you know, it's not to be expected that level of um, amount, volume of dogs, right? And dog owners, but I cannot stand it. You know, you simply want to do some exercise or you want to do a walk. You simply want to mind your own business. You don't want to cause any trouble. You don't want to get in anyone's way. And yet people still come causing trouble. People still come causing issues and still keep getting in my way. Even when I am keeping my own distance, like what is wrong with humans? You know, maybe, maybe the reason why all these people around me are being such idiots is simply because they're secretly obsessed with me and they need an autograph from the whip god kitty cat sanctuary owner. That could be the case. Or maybe I think that might be a bit of a stretch. That's probably a bit too narcissistic to be thinking that way. I think reality is all these prats around me in the UK, it's most likely because they're jellers, because they're dog owners. And, you know, they maybe don't like the idea of this whole kitty cat crew. Maybe because me being the kitty cat, kitty cat, can't even get the words out there. Maybe because I'm the kitty cat crew member, whatever you want to call it that, dogs are going to come after me. Maybe. But one thing I did realise, at one point where I did wear a satanic top, animals did act up around me. They did act a bit different. But I don't wear that top at the moment just because it's too warm. You know, a black top is going to absorb all the heat, so... Mm. But yeah, high levels of degenerative behaviour today, for sure. Truly pathetic how humans are, for sure. Considering that I'm minding my own business and even stepping aside in such a respectful way to let people pass, and yet they disrespect that. Anyway, as well, just as a, another brief backstory, maybe I can post it in the comments. It depends how far people have watched into this video. Reality is what humans must understand is I've not had the best experiences with dogs, so I'm not going to have the best positive outlook on dogs, right? Though with cats, I've really never had a negative experience with them, so I do prefer cats in general. And I have had cats in the past, been there, done that, and it's been fine, okay? But as for a brief backstory, yes, when I was a child, I was almost killed by a dog almost drowned by it. Then there was another time where a family dog hospitalised me and hurt me, which led to the scar on my forehead. So, not too good. And then other instances in between where dogs jump up, chase me, jump, claw me, whatever, put, you know, mud upon my shirt. Yeah, I, I don't approve of that. Now, Compare that to how many times have I been attacked by cats? Meow, cats. Not once have I been attacked by a cat. Not once have I been ambushed by a cat. Not once have I been attacked by a stranger cat. You know, cats can be cautious. Cats do have claws. And, you know, they do scratch you. Depending where those claws have been, you know, you you could get an infection, right? You know, there's levels of seriousness there. Cats can hiss as well. I don't think they would bite, but, you know, they've got their own tools. You get me? And yet not once have I had really a bad experience with a cat. You know, you've seen those cats in my videos, right? I don't know who they are. Some people think those cats belong to me. No, they don't. And you've seen how they how they've acted. They've not come running at me. They don't spit in my face. They don't pant and heavy breathe down my neck or throat, do they? They keep the distance and look at me in a confused way thinking, who's this idiot? And I'd rather choose that any day over the week compared to being surrounded by dogs for certain. Okay. Now, if I was in the US right now, would I have already had my face ripped off? possibly, by some dogs, you know, lose-lose situation, right? So, yeah, I can't stand dogs, simple as that, because my own experiences in the past have, you know, not been too good. There are good dogs out there, there'll be good dog owners out there, but the majority I see are complete idiots, okay? 
So just as a quick recap before any humans get their pants in a twist, I say most, which does not mean 100%, okay? So if anyone does get triggered by this video, that's not my problem. So there we go.